Welcome back to Forest Challenge Map for the Floor is Lava Challenge. Episode number three, which I didn't think was going to happen, but here it is with me, Mr. Sealy P. It's 6.44 in the morning, logging ceased when it got dark. That was the rule. The rule was when it got dark, I couldn't log unless I have floodlights. Vehicle lights and things like that aren't enough at night. At night, for safety, I have to have floodlights. So, this is where we're at. 12,889. Um, I cut down the next ring of trees out. I've stump ground the uh, stumps I could reach. Other than that, I haven't touched them. So... I sold a few here. I sold some using the table saw. I had a little pile over there. I had a pile here I put onto this cell point. I was thinking about getting rid of the cell point and it suddenly dawned on me. I can use the mobile cell point for poles of lumber, but I was keeping this cell point for selling my planks. And what I also remembered was that I'd set that to selling. So that sold some of my um, planks on the hour as I was, because I'm on times five before I realised that um, I had to put it back onto storing. So I've got some stored. Actually, I don't know how many I've got. So we've run overnight. Um, the two silver boards I did manage to get rid of. Um, thank you to all the people that commented. I don't know what I was thinking. I thought I tried both. And I think what had happened, um, I'm going to... People are asking me about the icon markers and why do I keep having the icon markers on. Um, right. Things like this that have got a, 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 an object in front of it. Once you get used to where you've placed it and where it is, I know now the cell wood icon is just there. That's no problem. So I can turn them off now, and I know if I come to this corner, pretty much this is where the cell icon is. I know with the building over here, if we come around the side here, we've got 20,000 litres in here now from the trees we cut down. We've got 3,954 litres, so that'll be nearly 4,000 litres of planks ready to come out, as well as the two pallets are there, which is pretty good. I'm happy with that. Um, so I know that the trigger's there by this door. I know on the corner here is pretty much where the cell wood icon is. Um, so I've got to worry. The problem with the vehicle workshop, there's no building. There's nothing to orient yourself. Um, so I, when I want to use this, buy anything or sell anything, or you know, I have to have these icons on because I could wander around for ages until I get the you know work out where it is. Now what I did the other day when I bought the silver. Um, boards that I was using that I was renting I put them down right on this marker I came into here and nothing came up like that nothing came up at all um, I, what I needed to do was put them further out in front of it and then you come onto your marker then it gives you the option to do whatever you want to do with it a lot of people said to me why aren't you coming in from here this one wasn't working and I think that's where I did it originally I'm coming into the menu here and clicking on it and going down to rented which normally you know you come down to there you come to least items you can click on it and return them it wasn't working at all um so all i ended up doing was in fiddling around because again that marker's here where do you put your vehicle do you put it in front of it here do you put it to the side here do you put it to the side there do you put it behind where does it end up in so it was just one of those i moved to one of the boards put it there and the icon came up so i've returned them so thank you to all the people that commented very helpful. As far as the icons, I will have them turned off unless I need to use these triggers, in which case I might have to put them back on. Um, I am aiming towards something. I've got my planks going. I am going to start wood chipping. I'm going to start wood chipping and storing those wood chips ready for the next phase when I put in my um, uh, wood pellet production, which is another facility I'm going to put in. Now, as far as what happens next, let's just turn that back off again. A lot of people commented to say, once you've ploughed the ground, you should then be able to walk on it. Because you've ploughed it, you've changed it, it's not forest floor anymore, you should be able to do that. Now, I did say in the first episode that I'm aiming to get out to that plot of land. I'm aiming to get to here. So my rule that I'm setting myself is, I cannot plough any land until I reach this. Once I reach this field, which is ploughable, I am then allowed to plough. And again, you can do it if you want. Choose whatever rules you want. This is how I'm doing it. Like it, lump it, whatever way around you think about it, this is what I'm doing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, a, as the crow flies, run out and clear the trees right out to there. Which is pretty much in that direction. So I'm going to come out from this corner and head pretty much out there, clearing trees I need to to get to there. Once I've got to there, I can then use a plough. 
if I've got enough money to buy a tractor or if I can get an attachment or something to put onto the skid cylinder, or whatever it turns out being, front mounted plow because the rear mounted one, I could turn round and reverse. I could then cut myself pathways, but only once I've reached there. That's my rule. I'm kind of sticking to that. Um, so what I'm going to do now is, I've just remembered last night what I was going to do and I didn't do it. I was going to bring in this. Now, can I reach it from here? There we go. Um, I was also asked about, and, and, and I, I totally understand. You know, I, I did mention it in, in the last episode, I think, in the first episode as well, about the honesty box thing. At the end of the day, um, I'm not gaining anything by. You know, it's a challenge for me as well. If I decide off camera to cheat, I'm only cheating myself. And I'll be honest, I haven't. Um, I'm enjoying the challenge and doing something different. Will that continue to be the case? Potentially. There's always the possibility not. It might get to a point that, you know what, I'm, I'm so done with this. And I might cut corners, but I haven't done, and I'm not intending to. Um, so will I? I'm not, like I say, it's not my plan to. Um, I did buy this. And again, whether you like them, loathe them, whether you're fed up with me using them or not, that's entirely up to you. These I'm using for manipulating logs around. So I'm using the winch to drag branches and trees in. Once I've dragged them in onto the platform, I can then use this to move them around. I could use a log grab, log crane. Oh, there's so many different things I can use. I've chosen to use that. That's just... They're cheap. The CSZ pack to buy, I think, was only 250 I'm not leasing anything. That was the rule. Um... So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get rid of these two first. Now this again, a couple of people mentioned about leitrage of trees. And again, it's that thing of different people comment. Everyone says what they're saying is correct. But it's interesting that you get so many different people saying so many different things. And they're all correct. Um, now there'll be people out there that will go into XML codes and check and stuff like that. Now what I've found is, and it's a very strange thing. There's probably a video on it. I don't. I haven't done a video on it myself personally. But as far as cell points go, if we go into our cell, cell points here, and we go down to wood, and I said this in one of the previous episodes, it's saying there the price is roughly farm sawmill. I'm using it. That doesn't count. But mobile wood cell point and sell everything about 1,800 for a thousand liters. So depending on the literage of this this tree I've cut up, normally the end bit here doesn't really give you very much. I normally lop that little bit off on the end. Um, but there is literage to it. Now, when I sell this at 1,800 for a thousand liters, I've got 734. So what that's saying is that wasn't even a thousand liters. It's saying it wasn't even 500 liters according to that pricing. But the weird thing is, when I then put them into the sawmill, they are more liters than that. So the, the selling versus putting them into something. It's very peculiar, and here's the other thing as well. When I was on, I did some testing on Western Wilds because I wanted to test out the wood chipper, the piece of equipment I'm gonna, or what I'm aiming to buy in this episode. And if I've managed to get to that point, it's probably on the thumbnail, so you've probably already seen it. Um, I did some testing, so I wasn't sure if if the the system that I was going to use was going to work. So I thought I'll test it out first, and in testing it. The trees on um, Western Wilds that I've already cut down for my test map, I was cutting them into one metre lengths. I put in one of those one metre lengths into the wood chipper and it was 777 litres. So an entire tree would be a huge amount of litres. So it's still baffling me that when you're putting that amount of litre into a sell point, why are you not getting the litre per litre sell price? It's odd. Sell price for these, I'll take that. Two pallets, 4,360. Now what I need for what I'm gonna buy, I need 21,000, that's all I need. I'm also gonna show you the next step moving forward. Now this, again, will get tweaked, I'll fiddle around, we'll, we'll look at different options of how to do this. Um, I, I said about concrete slabs, I said about 
steel plates i said about potentially bridges now bridges is the route i'm going to go down to start off with so i think with the 4000 litres and the two that were out i've got six of these to sell and this is why i'd rather direct sell them myself i'm sorry i'd rather sell them myself than direct sell them um, thank you to Richard who reached out again with the pricing. I think I mentioned it as well. Richard said on was it on hard mode when you direct sell they take a 30% cut. On normal it's 20% cut and on easy it's only 10%. No, I always pay on normal. That's why I originally said it was 20%. I had a few people message and say no, it's 40. Um, it depends what what um, economy level you're playing on apparently. And Richard has done bits and coding and stuff here and there, it's done some stuff for Giants, uh, somebody he knows had messaged him who does testing for Giants I think, anyway he messaged me and said that, um, so uh, yeah. at the end of the day I'd rather deliver it myself like this, I haven't got to go far, and I know I'm getting maximum amount of money possible, brilliant stuff, so we're up to 26,969, so here then we go for the next phase of operations. Now bearing in mind, I want to head out a diagonal from this corner. Don't know why I went that way, but from here. So what I'm going to do is go into my build mode and I'm going to go to decoration and I'm going to go to others and I've got these. These bridges. And if we go out to the XXL size bridge, now that's a wide bridge and that's for vehicles. Um, if we swing that around out from that corner. So you've got to be careful where you place it. And if I want to try and get it between the trees, it overlaps with an object. It could be, there you go. Now that's 2,780, quite pricey. But probably cheaper than putting out steel plates as a causeway. Probably a little bit more expensive than putting out the concrete slabs. But as far as cutting trees goes, if I go for the narrow one, that one there, and do that for example because that's the direction I'm kind of heading in let's try and get that there we go 1105 so if I place that I've now got a much longer duckboard walkway I can come out along that walkway and from this walkway then use all my other steel planks my, my plates and I can run out to all of these trees out in a circumference as far as my steel plates will allow me to go once I've cut all those trees down, I could place another one of these down and then go out from there, cut all those trees down. Now the only downside I'm going to have, I think, as far as I can see, is that the length of my um, winch. Now if I reach a point where I can afford it, that was that's when you're going to look at getting a cable yarder. Because what I could do is run some boards out, sling a cable yard, a cable up on a tree. Mind you, these trees aren't very tall. I don't know if it'd work. That's my only problem. And then use the cable yarder as a winch to bring trees back. But again, I, that's a little bit further ahead. So that's kind of the plan. Um, I bought all the boards over because I was going to run out from there, right in front of the sawmill. But realised that the direction I needed to go to get to that field was actually out at a diagonal from here. So the premise behind this now being that I come out from here. Now again, I'm trying to make sure I cut down the trees. Let's go like that. Out onto that board there. Do that, do that. I want the trees falling in that direction so they're as close in as possible. It doesn't matter if they don't. At the end of the day, I can, um, so I can use the winch. But what I could do is when I get to a point where I've built up enough money, especially the more, um, careful, the more um, planks I produce, the more money I make from planks. Let's go into there. I can then afford the wider causeways, in which case I can then drive the skid steel loader out and run the winch from there. So this is my kind of this is my alternative, my my way of making this work. If I now cut that about there, it's not going to be spot on, but it's close enough and then I'll grab another board and I'll run out to the next one 
And because I've got some more boards now, when I sold the, when I sold, when I returned those two lease boards, I bought two more of these steel ones. I've got a whole load over there in a pile and a whole load here in a pile. So that's my plan of attack for moving forward from here. And all I've got to do is get to that field. Once I get to that field, let's do one out that way. And then what I'll do is come in the back of the tree because I want to cut it again. So I want to cut it that way. So if I grab that board up like that, go out of there. Uh, no, put that board yeah, like that, maybe. There you go. I'm just going to aim it towards there anyway. That's pretty good. I'll take that. And I will cut a swathe. Now what I'm going to do... Whoa, that was close. That could have knocked me off and that could have been horrendous. Um, I'm going to put... Some will go into making planks. And like I said, some are going to go to wood chips. I may still sell some. I haven't kind of decided I've got to be so careful here. Turn around, walk back up the log. I'll probably drag that, then cut it. Uh, grab the furthest one out. Now, um, again, on the honesty thing, I'm not going to, on each episode, show me just cutting trees down. I know that's what I'm doing now. This is just to show you that this method is working and will work. What I will be showing in each episode is hopefully the problem solving. The new bits of equipment, the levelling up. Um... Unfortunately, what I didn't do was I mean, a bit daft. Was all the trees I'd cut down from that next ring out? And if I carry on doing it in concentric rings, obviously, as each ring goes out, the ring gets bigger, the ring gets wider. So there are more trees in each ring. Can I that there again? So each ring out will make me more money. But if I'm going to head straight out to that field. I'm not utilising the ring situation. However, if I can get... It depends what I want to do. If I want to get out to that field first and then have the ability to plough the ground, once I can plough the ground, I'm fine. And the great thing with ploughing the ground is I'm not actually... I'm not paving it. I'm not putting concrete down. I'm not putting steel slabs down. I'm not putting asphalt down. I'm not... It's just ploughed ground. That ploughed ground can be cultivated back in at any time. It can be returned back to forest floor at any time. And I like that as an idea. So what I'll probably do is plough and then cultivate over it. Or maybe use a subsoiler. Subsoiler would work because that'll, that'll give me a ploughed state, but it'll give me a cultivated look. It gives me a nice smooth surface to travel along. Um, so, right, next thing I'm going to do then is... And I can't remember where it's going to be. Can I get this about right? Is it in, level, in line with the rock, do we reckon? Is it about here? No. Nope. Over a bit. This is what I'm talking about. It's finding the... T <laughs> there we go. Right. So, I want here. Uh, thank you to all the people that called, reached out. When I was saying about wood chipping. Um, I think it was Bear and Papa that first hit me up. But a few other people did message. And suggested... Uh, where is it? Well, that is going to be for something later on which was another suggestion from Michael, which I loved. But again, that'll be another level up later on because I haven't got the money to do what I need to do with that yet. Um, where is it? It's under miscellaneous. Here we go. The CR600. So the CR600, configuration, box creation, I want belt. I'm going to go with orangey yellow. Uh, conveyor belt colour. Do I want that yellow as well? Or do I want that? No, let's go for a... Yeah, that's better. Uh, design colour, I think I might leave... Or I might go for a grey, maybe. Yeah, let's go with that. So what's that going to cost me? 20300 So, if I buy that, not lease it. I could have leased it, but my rule is I buy. And then what I'm going to do in conjunction with this... And again, people may hate it, but you can store your wood chips in anything you want. You can store them in silos, containers, bags, boxes, a pile on the floor. It's entirely up to you. Now, assuming, of course, I've got it installed. Um, it doesn't matter which one I go for. I'm going to go for the pallet version. One of these. The Global Goods Transport Pallet. And I'm going to go for Unreal. So I'm going to treat it like a silo. Uh, main colour is for the frame. And I'm going to change that to Galvanised. 
So that should cost me a grand, that's all. So I've got myself a mini silo bag. So that's why I said 21. So it's actually 21,300 that's just cost me. So, <laughs> I don't know if I can move this. So what I need to go into there is, I think I'll fold it up into a packed form like that. Is that lights on it? I don't know. Um, this can be picked up by hand. The bag version can be as well. So we'll pop that, let's say, oh, it doesn't really matter, does it? Let's pop it down there, like that. And then, I don't know if this is gonna pick it up. I've got a weight on the back, but this is probably quite heavy. I might have to just shove it, you know, until I get to a point. Because at the moment it's in the um, unload point. It's normally a wheel loader or something that would lift this, so I don't know if we're gonna get away with it. Oh no, all right. Having that weight on the back has obviously worked, so that's brilliant. Um, I can't remember which way around it was. So like I say, I'm going to continue to produce wood chip because moving forward I want to get the pellet production. The pellet production requires wood chips. So some of it will go into the factory, some of it will go I honestly didn't think that would pick that up, so I'm really happy with that. Into there. Unfold. That probably needs to be moved a little bit, that's fine. Grab that. And put that about I don't know, there, maybe. Got to be careful, that's about central. Uh, we then open it up. Oh, there we go. Shoot opens like that. And this gets turned on, I think. There we go, engine on. Now this requires electric power, I think it says. Let me just double check that. Let's go to that. We need to fill the tool, go up and close cover. I'll stop the engine for the time being. And that should, yeah, the bottom right is showing electric. So I might need to get a little electric charge point at some point. The other thing I might need to do actually is a platform. Maybe a ramp? I need a cheap ramp. Um, I wonder. <laughs> Again, problem solving on the fly. I don't think this might, it might work, who knows. Probably not the best idea. Well, that's up against that. I thought it might hook on there. That's a bit high enough. I was just hoping to get up high enough um, that I could reach in for putting logs and stuff in rather than throwing them in. I'd rather not throw them in. But So what we'll do now... Um, I'm going to need to winch these, aren't I? Let's so just cut a bit off. Let's just cut a chunk off and see how this works. Let me throw this right over the top. If I throw it at it, right, that's gone in. I'm not sure what the capacity of this is. That says 420 litres. Start overloading. One to one, we're good. Engine off. I'm definitely going to need um, some steps or something, so I want to be able to put stuff in rather than keep throwing stuff. But that highlights as well that that small chunk there, from there to there, was 420 litres. That's what it said on there. So that entire tree has got to be... You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put this entire tree through the wood chipper and see how many litres of wood chip it is. Let's bust this pricing scam wide open. I say steps so I'm gonna need some, I don't think I've got a ramp installed. I need something, I think some of the cheaper ones are only about a grand, aren't they for a ramp? Maybe, I don't know. Anyway, so as you can see, I've got more logging to do. 
I've got my causeway and effect. Um, can I pick that up? I can. Brilliant stuff. Right. This won't be a lot of literage, this bit. I'm going to cut this up into smaller bits, though, because it doesn't always like... Um, Seven hundred and fifty liters. So we're already over a thousand liters. That's really cool. I had forgotten all about this. I was like, Baron Papa was the first person that messed me. And I people say, you talk about the same people all the time. These are the people that hit me up immediately. They say, what about so and so? You know. I know he used this. He messaged me a while ago, probably six months ago, maybe more. And he has one of these on a trailer and he takes it everywhere because it does sugar beet to sugar beet cut, it does wood chip, and it does bales as well, I think. Um, and he said, like, for doing contract work and stuff like that, it's brilliant. And I have to say, I agree. I'm, I'm really curious now. I'm going to need the winch, aren't I, to bring that last bit in. Let's grab. Let's get that out of the way because I'm going to get all caught up on myself. Right. And then I'll, like I say, I'll see you in a bit, I'll get some more stuff done. Put that down. Let's go and get that winch hooked up. The sun is coming up, we should have a bit of light so you can see, look. It's gradually edging its way across. The days are going to go pretty quickly. There we go. Come on the sun. Step on the ground. There we go. Now, I'd, I had said on Court Farm I was talking about this, and in all honesty, I was going to stop. I wasn't going to do any more. Um, I was quite dejected and fed up, and and I thought, you know what? I'll just play this off camera, just for me. I'm just going to. This is a challenge I set up. I thought it'd be fun. I wanted to have a go at, so I'm just going to do it, just completely for me. Um, but then I thought, if I'm going to sit and play it anyway. I might as well record it, and for the people that want to see it, they can see it. Like I'm glad if I'm going to put the hours in and do it, then I might as well, you know, might as well show me doing it. Why not? Now I think I've got to be careful because I'm not sure what the capacity of the, the hopper is. Um, I think the hopper might only be um, what's that? 410. I mean, we're way up already, aren't we? It, it just doesn't make sense. <laughs> Right, so 969 litres, it's 96%, so that's near 1,000. So we're already up over, what's that, 2,300? We'll see once it's all done. So why, why am I getting so little when I sell it? It's very strange. It's a global conspiracy is what it is, Governor. Oops. <laughs> that didn't quite work. Well, this is a bit heavy, this one. <laughs> Come 
Come on. Muscles. Look at that. Come on now. 3,500 litres of wood chips. Now I suppose the only possibility is that the literage of a tree is different to the literage of wood chips. But I don't see how. Surely those two things have got to be inextricably linked, haven't they? One tree, 4,076 litres. Right, I've got a load more to do. Let's get it on. Okay, <laughs> before I turn around and show you what's happened, um, I may have gone a bridge too far on this. Um, as you can see, we're getting to the point it's going to start getting dark soon, so I've got to be careful. Oh, the other thing I found, look, see past this tree line here, but the tall trees in the foreground, and you see in the background, tall trees. Let's just do this and this. Look, look at that lot. That is a resource. For each tree cut down, way more timber. So what I might do is try and head out to that, cut a load of those big trees down and bring them back. That could be a problem. You'll see why. Uh, let me just sell these. <laughs> I need some money. As long as what I'm producing and what I'm selling exceeds what I'm spending on bridging and um, <laughs> and causeways. Now, if you remember, I had the thin causeway going out, and then I was using the boards to go out from there. Right, well, in extending out from there over the course of the day, um, it became apparent my winch wouldn't reach. So I took out the small causeway, and I put in um, concrete um, slabs. They were expensive. It cost me about four and a half grand to put the concrete slabs out. And then I suddenly thought, well, if I'm going to keep doing that, every small stretch is going to be four grand-ish. It's going to get expensive. So I looked to put in a bridge in. So I took all the concrete slabs out. After I'd used them, I'd, I'd cleared the trees um, and then put one of the bridges in. However, I swung the bridge round, levelled it so it looked all right. When I placed it, I found the, this to be the case. It was sitting very high this end. And when I say very high, I had to buy one of these boards that goes for the excavator, excavator mat, put a couple of logs in front of it just so I can get the skid steer loader up. Because what I found was, as you I don't know if can see because it's getting dark, but as we go forward, I've been clearing the trees out to each side using my boards. Now I could have gone much further out with the boards, but as I said, my aim is to get out to that field. So I'm gonna clear either side, clear myself a new, a nice open sight line. Um, so I can't be ambushed out the trees without seeing people coming. But this is where I then ran into a problem. <laughs> because it was dug into the ground here at the end. Um, the concrete slabs are quite expensive, but I found these. These are individual concrete plates. They're $70 each. Now these concrete plates are $70 each. I can't move them once they're placed. However, they're the same price as one of these. So what I can do... My causeway, from now on, I can either put these down. These don't like steep inclines. The concrete slabs that go down like fencing aren't a big fan of steep inclines. But that doesn't look too horrendous. It looks quite flat. Unfortunately, it's not. And as you can see, with my walkways, I've got out as far as I can, cut all the trees off as far as I can, putting various ones out until I've got out as far as there. Now, the problem I have next is... That forward of here, as we carry on straight along, you can probably see we've got some stumps. I might be able to squeeze past that one. That one, maybe. That one, no. So, I'm going to put more concrete slabs in as we go forward now. Um, but what I needed to do was um, get enough money to actually do that. Then I can drive my skid loader out. Because like I say, I was getting out to here. Or I, I say, I got out as far as the board would let me go. 
and the winch wouldn't run as far to bring the logs back. I suppose what I could have done was just bought out the um, table saw sell point and just sold them from there, which is another option moving forward. So as you can see, it's a real hodgepodge of, I've been trying to find anything I can to make it work. Oh no, what's happened? I had a massive pile of logs there. I had a massive pile of logs here. Oh, they got in. I don't remember. Mm, that's weird. They've gone in. They were sat there piled up so I could show you. Look, I've put logs here. So what I'm going to try and do is fill this up as much as I can. That way this can carry on doing my planks as we're moving forward. Um, but then as we move forward, if I keep moving this with me, I can be selling my logs as we go. So what we need to do now is move that over here. Get rid of that pile. See what that brings us. Okay, not as much as I thought it was going to be, but it's the planks that are making us good money, so that's all good. Um, I have every now and again, and the only downside I will say with this is because it's got a, a thousand litre limit. I'm sure it says in the, in the description 2,000, but it's a thousand. You can't fill this up with 20,000 litres of wood and then let it just run, um, which is a bit of a pain, really. I'm trying, I was trying to think of any other way of doing it. But the point beyond that being, this can produce pallets as well. So if you're producing pallets, if that holds a thousand and a pallet holds a thousand, you don't want to overfill that and have, you know, thousands and thousands of pallets pouring out. So I can understand why, I, I really can. So at the moment we've got sat in here 12,693 litres. And so I have been, every now and again, putting a log to one side, chop it up into sections that I can just about lift and throw in, and I'll keep doing a bit of wood chip, and I'll keep doing a bit of that. So yeah hmm it's uh it's an odd one well i can do about it really but let's say the the, the plan was okay in my head <laughs> after that it just went to pieces a little bit um so i think moving forward it's going to be a combination of these plates if it will let me sit them flat and these concrete slabs these concrete slabs are 200 as you go out which are more expensive than the metal plating i tried the metal plating it just does not like any type of slope at all i went back into the brochures to have a look and see if there's anything else available that i could be using i did consider rocks and breaking rocks up to make stones and putting my own gravel down rather than just because a lot of people said well, you can't just keep using the landscaping tool and just graveling as you go putting down asphalt or putting down you know whatever it might be which is fair enough so i thought potentially the next best thing would be either to search for a quarry see if i can find a quarry oh the other thing was as well you know i said on the map i don't know if people said anything these areas here these aren't open areas these are where there are um i suppose that's a good place to look these are rocky outcrops not cliffs really sort of rocky outcrops potentially those would be places to find stone i guess head out there find stone and i can put stone down and kind of flatten it as i go and use that as a as a you know, paving resource maybe or is that over complicating it's like oh he <laughs> says is that over complicating things do we think oh, i don't know so what i'm going to do i'm going to bring these boards back move them to one side and i'm going to put a couple more of these out that's what i needed the money for and then we'll get rid of that stump put a few more out and then I can do the next section as I move out so that's kind of where I'm up to I need to and I'm trying to work out I'm going to do it I need to get to a point where I can put in the next production which I think the one I wanted if I missed one oh there's another one out there um the next one I want to get is 60 grand so whereas the um the one we've got in now the farm sawmill that's paid for itself that cost me 10 grand each two pallets I'm selling, I'm getting 4,600 for. So in the first load of pallets I sold, it paid for itself. So that's done. 60 grand for the next one's going to take a bit longer to pay for. But it will pay for itself. They, they will. Um, I've just got to decide where I'm going to put it. And I'm going to have to clear some more land, aren't I? I'm going to put another one down. I might clear to the side of me. Just thinking. Um... I might clear to the side of me here. Why did I bring it way back down here? I can just put it next to the... I'm an idiot. Oh, dear. Let's take that back. 
Saturday morning, this has been recorded in a couple of steps. Like I said, I was just playing this. I thought I'm going to play it in my own time. I'm just going to carry on because I'm enjoying the challenge. Um, so when I've had a spare bit of time here and there, I've been doing it. Yeah, I guess if I clear, I've got a bit of space here. If I clear a few more trees there, I mean, it's not flat though. That's the problem. It's not a level. It's more level over there, I think. I can't remember how big it is. Possibly there. Oh, actually, that doesn't look too bad, does it? Maybe that side. My empire is already growing. We started with a bow saw and a dream. Well, a tent as well, I guess. Right, I'll see you in a minute when I've cleared all these back. We'll put some boards out. Concrete slabs out. I'll get the stump grinder out. We'll get that stump done. Put some more concrete slabs down. And I shall be continuing. So, like I say, my next level up... There's a few things on my shopping list. I want a telehandler, which will become apparent when I get it. But it doesn't need to be too expensive. I don't want a mega expensive one. Um, but we want a telehandler. I want um, that pellet production. That's why I'm continuing to make wood chips. That's going to take a bit of time, but that's all good. Um, what else did I want to do? At some point, I want to get an excavator, but that's not going to be for a while. We want to get a tree harvester. So if I get an excavator that can have a harvester head, that kills two birds with one stone because that will give me a. A, a, an implement that I can put an implement a vehicle that I can put an implement on for grabbing logs but also cutting down trees um, there is you probably saw it when I was looking in the vehicle or the menu for tools there's um, an ex excavator arm extension that you can add on um, which gives you a bit of a longer reach which makes life especially doing a job like this much much better and again you know I get it if you're watching this for the third time, and a couple of people messaged and said, I, I watched the first one, gave the second one a try to see if it got any better, <laughs> and then decided it's not for me. That's fine. Like I say, I'm, I'm doing it anyway, so I'm going to record it, I'm going to put it out there. If you want to watch it, watch it. If you don't, don't. That's fine. I'm not forcing anyone. It got way too dark, couldn't see what I was doing. I got those logs through the chipper. What we'll do. I thought I'd left that running. I was like, oh, you've got to be kidding me. Mind you, you should have a flat battery. I think I left the lights on, didn't I?
I guess the other thing to do at Master is I need to, if I can get this absolutely chocker, I mean properly chocker block. I don't know what's going to happen when we get snow, but we'll see. Um, yeah, get it properly rammed full. And then possibly not do any logging for a couple of days. No, because no, that, that would frustrate me. If I skipped ahead a couple of days, which would be a couple of months, I'm only on one day months just for ease of use, um, and then build up. That's a lot of wood. A lot of um, plants. Yeah, build up a bit of a backlog. And then we get a big old chunk of money in one go. That's not knocking it, that's amazing. Certainly going to hurt, help out with our uh, causeway. Not bad at all, right? That's that bit done. So I need—I I don't even know. If I'm gonna, I haven't been um, up there with the stump grinder. I've only been up there with the winch, and the winch goes up there no problem at all. I'm just not convinced the stump grinder will. Oh, this is going to be horrendous, isn't it? If this doesn't work, I'm not quite sure what to do. Oh no, wrong one. Uh, that one. Yeah, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do. So I guess we're going to find out. <laughs> Where's my knowledge? Finding all my stuff. It's such a ridiculous piece of equipment, it really is. Ludicrous. Just thinking with it being front heavy, I don't know if it's going to want to go up here. Come on. That's just moving those logs. So I've been up with other stuff. Maybe tracks would be a better option. What do you reckon? It's just it's just too big a step up. I was trying to find a small ramp, but all the ramps are too big. Can I get up sideways maybe? Oh come on. Come on. Oh you jammy. So and so. So all I've got to do now is just leave this up here forever. Yeah, it gets a bit bumpy, but you know. At least it works. It spans a much bigger distance. This, I think, was this bridge was 1,508 or something. Oh, got caught up. Come on. There we go. Right. So, just stop there a second. Into build mode. Into decoration. We want our defences. There we go. So, from the end here, now I've got to make sure I'm right on it. There we go. See, 2,827 for that fairly short span. But what I'm thinking I'm going to do is if I can... I, I might actually do what I said. I might skip a month ahead, build up a bit of a reserve. No, I want to put. Oh, I don't know. And then um, get rid of that bridge and just do concrete slab the whole way out. I, I just thought it's a much cheaper way of going a much longer distance. But bridges don't like hills. They want those, they're designed to go across gaps where it's level. They're not designed to do this. I suppose the other thing I could do would be to pile up stone or landscape I suppose I could landscape this maybe if I raised it up just a little bit to bring me up level to that then smooth the slope down that could work 
Make sure I save it before I do that. Those, those are no good, so we'll get those out of the way. Um, yeah, that could work, couldn't it? So will, those, will those go straight into there? Yeah. Oh, actually, I was going to say, overnight, it's really bizarre, right? If I go into this, if I fill this up at the bottom right, it says wood chip, it goes to 100%, and 100% says 1,000 litres. But when I was throwing logs into this, it went over that. At one point, I think it was up to 1,700, 1,800 litres. So I'm wondering if I can just fill that up with a load. I'll have to do some more testing on that. Anyway, yeah. So these little bits here that don't give you hardly anything. Does that say it's got in it? 141 litres of wood chips. Yeah, it has a literage. So if you try and sell that as lumber, it doesn't want to know. I know they, they prefer long, straight, blah, 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 you know. I know, but... Anyway, so this is where we're at. <laughs> this is where we've got to my... um. I think I'm going to rename myself Oddball. This is going to be Oddball from... Uh... It's from Kelly's Heroes. It's one of my favourite films. I absolutely love that film. I do love a tiger tank. <laughs> been watching a series called um, Combat Dealers with a guy called Bruce Crompton. I'm loving it. It's absolutely fantastic. Anyway, you don't need to say that, but just... So let's try and get this one out of the way. Now, this is one of those ones that does that horrible thing where it won't go unless you're at a funny angle. Come on, there we go. Good lads, good lads. Now, do I leave the... <laughs> because I can see another one further up there. Do I leave this where it is and risk the winch and bringing trees down past it and potentially knocking it off and losing it? Because if this goes on the ground, I'm in trouble. Or do I take it all the way back down? You know what, I'm going to take it all the way back down. I'm only going to bring it up when I want to clear stumps out because I can't. Re I don't want to risk losing it. And I'm going to see, I might have a fiddle around off camera. <laughs> I'm not going to do it on camera. Oh. Let's see what this is like inside. Yep. I think I've splintered my pancreas. Anyway, um. Yeah, I'll try the landscaping and see how we go. But anyway, that's where we're at. That's what, that's what we've got to. We have leveled up. We have made progress. We are cutting our way through. I, I like to say, I'm, I'm going to go for that first, and then that will give me the ability to use a plow, and then we can plow roots. Once we can plow roots out, and the great thing about those is they can be filled back in, covered over, cultivated, whatever, whenever we want to. So I think that's absolutely the way to go. So for the people that suggested ploughing as an option, I am, I'm still considering maybe doing rocks. But that seems to be, I know not, it's not everyone's cup of tea doing rock work and that seems like a lot as well. I don't know. Oh, let's bring that right in because it doesn't matter. Disconnect with it like that. Let's do that. Right. Cool. Back onto the winch. And I will see you on the next one, whenever that may be. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.